Greetings food surfers, welcome to the Erica Meal Time Show. In today's episode, we're doing a traditional Japanese lunch. This building behind me is over 100 years old, and we're gonna do a special course set. Will you join me? Okay, let's get started here since the food has already been delivered previous to us even arriving here today. The place is just gorgeous. Hopefully some of those shots we took before came out pretty nice. And this restaurant has 130 years of history. It burned down once after the 1923 earthquake and then they rebuilt it. So here we are. Starting off with, what kind of beer is this? Asahi, super dry. So cheers to you, team, get some. This launch is for you. Ah, oh, yeah, that hits the spot. So where do we start with the appetizer plate? With this, how about the tofu? We'll start with this one. It's nice and wobbly. We've got these special chopsticks. Very nice. The name of the restaurant is Daduma. Daduma, it's in Romaji too, Daduma. Mm-hmm. Get this beautiful chopstick holder here. Ceramic, that's nice, I like that. And the dishes are gorgeous, huh? Looks like we've got some Galleons on top there, and some wasabi. What else? Mmm. Oh, that's some creamy tofu. And there, that was also plum on top there. Sour plum. Mmm. A lot of flavors going on there. And boy, that is some really creamy, rich tofu. Okay, so the next course has arrived here, the sashimi. I think we'll just go for this right away. Since the sashimi is from the sea, we want to eat this at a nice, cool temperature. So the first one is Thai. Dip it into the shoyu. Oh, it's gorgeous looking. Mm -hmm. It's nice and chilled. Thai is sea bream. Nice. I like that. And in the middle here, this is chu toro, fatty tuna. We'll hit that with some wasabi. Oh, yeah. Wasabi, baby. Come on in. Oh, the chew toro just melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness. Then we've got hotate here, which are scallops. Mm. Lovely texture. So fresh and not fishy. Oh yeah, this is some really banging sashimi. Oh my goodness. And this one I believe is hirame. So, white fish, flat fish. Mmm, this one's got some muscle. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got the kiku flower or chrysanthemum. I've eaten this in the past, but today, I don't think we're gonna eat it. 
We've got the mint flower, I mean the mint leaf, which is called sisal, and some daikon radish, thinly sliced. Definitely dip this in. Mmm. -hmm. Try some sea plants. I like to eat the garnish a little bit. Look at that beautiful little blossom there. That's pretty. Okay, next up is the mixed hors d'oeuvre plate, we're gonna call this. This is the first thing that actually came out. So we've got a couple different types of seafood and goodness, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's try with this, Let's start with this one. These are clams in here, served with some greens. Nanohana, flower greens. Mm. Interesting combo. There's a slight bitterness to the flowers. With the clams, nice and meaty. Mm -hmm. Speaking of nice and meaty, this is sliced awabi. Or look at the shell, abalone, huh? It's gorgeous. What's it gonna taste like? Is it gonna be smoked? Tastes a little bit like the sea. I think it's raw. I've got a little bit to show you. Nice though. Very soft. Mm hmm. Was I supposed to put this on it? Does that go with it? You missed the salt? <laughs> salt. I think the salt was supposed to go on it. Oops. Okay, missed that. Wasn't in my instructions from the uh, waitress. Looks like salmon? No, what is that? Not sure. Pretty gorgeous. Let's put some salt on this. Looks like liver. Mmm. Lots of flavors going on there. That leaf is a, what is that? It's very tart. And then I believe it is some type of fish liver. Yeah, it's good. This is gonna be a mixed tofu here. Tofu and something. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Pretty tasty. And we've got some shrimp over here. Two pieces of shrimp. And it's on a little bit of, a little bit of seaweed. Kombu, which is the like kelp seaweed. Mm-hmm. That goes good with beer, I think. Oh yeah. See what's so nice about these sat lunches is that you can try just little tiny, tiny portions of things. So if you don't like it, no big deal. You're just trying a little bit. So it's a great way to get started trying new foods with these types of set menus. Okay, moving on. This just arrived. This is cucumber on the outside, the greens. And then in the center here is the mystery fish. It's a clam, it's called akagai. So a type of sea clam. And I guess you just kind of eat it together here. Mm -hmm. Taste of mostly the cucumber. Mm -hmm. A little bit pickled. It's like Thousand Island dressing on the clam, which is bizarre. Oh. Nicely chilled. Mm. 
It's different, that's for sure. But I like the textures, the softness of the clam, and then the crunchiness of the cucumber. Yeah. And the dish is actually, this is what the akagai looks like. This is the colors of it. So it's kind of red and then it sort of fades into a white and then a dark. Gorgeous. Very realistic. I should have put some of the salt on that, I think. Okay, and one more piece of tofu. I think out of these appetizers, I think I liked the awabi best, the abalone, I think was best. Yeah, and the tofu, sweet tofu. The next course is the tempura course. Gorgeous looking, isn't it? Where shall we start? It's like two types of fish and then a couple of vegetables. We got the sauce. Let's prepare the sauce here. We're going to add this to the sauce. So we've got some ginger and daikon radish. We'll mix up together. And let's start with this one. This is the shishito pepper. It's got a distinct taste, but it's not too spicy. Mmm. Oh. And done tempura style, it's really nice. Yeah. Just a tad bit of bitterness at the end, but nice flavor. Yeah. Next, you can tell by the bottom of it, this is the mushroom, the most common one in Japan. You guys know what it is? It's called the shiitake, the shiitake mushroom. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. Now that's a nice shiitake mushroom. Very tender. A lot of times they're really chewy or hard. That, wow. Kind of reminds me of chew total fatty tuna. Melty. Yeah. And next up here is the kisu fish, or it's a type of white fish, flat fish. Gorgeous, a lot of meat on this. I'm just tearing into it here. Bust it into pieces. Going in for the kisu fish. Mmm. -hmm. The kisu fish is probably the number one type of fish that you get served tempura style, other than shrimp. Mmm. It's got a pureness to it. Oh, it's nice. And then my favorite, of course, is the tempura shrimp. This is a really nice meaty piece of shrimp here. Going in. Oh my. There's just something about fresh shrimp when it's cooked just right too. It's got this kind of toughness to it, but at the same time, it's kind of like lobster. If you close your eyes, it's like you're eating lobster. Mm-hmm. That's the texture of the meat. Oh, it's nice. Mm. The next two courses are here, plus we've got some sake. Finish off this bottle. Fresh bottle. Let's go. And this is local sake. It comes from Matsuda, the city not too far from here. We're in Odawada City right now, which is right on the shoreline, so all this fish is really fresh. And the sake, how is it? Ooh, that's a nice one. Smooth and dry. Mmm. Ooh, a little bit creamy. It's got a bit of bang to it. I like that. Bang meaning soothing as it goes down your throat. I like that. Okay, so this is the wagyu right here. Wagyu, everybody, served in a thick sauce with a Brussels sprout. 
Okay, let's get right into that. She said it's Yawarakai Wagyu, meaning very soft, tender, and it is. You don't need anything to cut it with. Chopsticks just, look at that, it just falls apart. Mm -hmm. The beef stew, wow, that's wonderful. It's a nice tangy sauce. And she's right, the meat is very soft. Mm. Reminds me of mom's stew back in the day. Yeah. Try the Brussels sprout. It's been ages since I've had a Brussels sprout, a half a Brussels sprout. It's heavy. Mm. Oh, cooked in garlic. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Brussels sprout. I'm going to have some sake to wash that down. The thing with Brussels sprouts is you start chewing them and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like eating, eating a donut. Okay, got the palate cleansed, and the next dish is the nimono, or the simmered vegetables. Classic Japanese dish. Very classic. Get some of these mushrooms. And then we've got some potato, carrot, and a meatball. Mm -hmm. Minced chicken, maybe? Mm hmm. That's very precious. They go together well, and it's in this kind of a sauce that's very mellow. Mellow with the sweetness. It's good. That's really good. All righty, what do we have next? Let's open the dish. And these dishes are gorgeous, by the way, every one of them. Steamed tofu, it looks like, with miso sauce on top and some wasabi. That looks good. Yeah. So one bite or two? I'm thinking two. We'll do the wasabi side first. Hmm. This is a mellow tofu. Very mellow. Yeah. So many different types of tofu. Almost tastes like egg a little bit. It's got a fluffiness to it. Mm -hmm. And that's got the plum sauce on top. What can I say? Delish. Okay, moving on to the cooked sea bream. Look at that. This is the Thai fish again. And this it looks like a present, doesn't it? Omoreto, Thai fish, gorgeous. Looks just too beautiful to eat, doesn't it? Got a good shot of that? Oh my gosh. Look at all that salt on the tail right there. Fabulous. So, sea bream. That's what it looks like. Typically, the sea bream in Japan, you're eating this with sashimi style. So, it's not often that you get it served cooked like this. Or at least I haven't seen it cooked that much. Going in. Oh yeah. That's a meaty fish. Oh goodness. Sea bream. I don't think I've ever had it like this. I've, I've only eaten this fish 
sashimi style before, I think. It's very flaky. Mm hmm. Meaty and flaky. Oh, and this, I like that saltiness on that. Let's get some of the skin here. Let me get some skin, please. There we go, a little bit of skin mixed in. No extra charge for the bones, huh? <laughs> That's a tasty fish. More, more. The tail is more salty, for sure. Lots of salt on the skin there. Right into the bone there. Okay, good. Got the bone out. But boy, it's flaky. You got to be careful. It just falls apart, doesn't it? Okay, here goes. Try this with some sake. It's really salty. Oh, those go good together. Oh yeah, that's a delightful fish. And what do we have here? Is this a stone? Is this edible? Is that a giant bean? Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, it's like the, that's like the biggest bean I've ever seen. I believe this is a soda mame, I'm not sure. No oh, sweet bean. It's got sake in it. Oh my gosh, it's good. Black bean. Very sweet. Wow, tastes like uncle. Bean paste. Dessert-like. Wow. Okay, the next few dishes have arrived. We got the miso soup here. Oh, bonus, look at that. That's a hamaguchi clam in there in the miso soup. And this is a clear soup. Very nice. And this is chao soba or soba noodles in tea. Yes, yeah, so tea noodles. And then you put the wasabi and the chives in here for the dipping sauce. Okay, let's do the noodles first, shall we? just like green tea. Nice, got a good chewiness. And they got the color right too. There's nutty seaweed flakes on top. The sauce is nice and thick. Mmm. Tasty. Wow, those are some good noodles. Yeah. Get in here for the clam, shall we? It's a pretty common clam in Japan. Hamaguchi. Mmm. Oh, it's nice. Got a pureness to it. It's not fishy. Oh, I love this clear soup. Yeah, classic variation of miso soup, traditional. Oh, body warming. Nice, that is really nice. Dessert is served, ladies and gentlemen. And what do we have here? This is a matcha mousse with yogurt, strawberry. Don't think I've ever had matcha mousse before. Give that a try. Oh, fluffy. Wow, goes good together with the yogurt. Mm-hmm. And what do we have here? Those blueberries? Raisins. Rum raisins. Oh my goodness. Try the strawberry. 
Looks like a little snowman. Wow. I like Japanese desserts. They're just tiny, but they're delicate, gorgeous, and just perfection. Yeah, not too heavy. That's the big point. So overall, this meal was rocking for a lunch. And wow, fabulous service. I'll put the price down below, but very reasonable, I think, for everything. And it's a just a classic location. We've got the upstairs room here, which is really nice. But the place is huge. There's a lot of different other individual rooms as well, too, that you can book. And the food was so fresh. I mean, seafood heavy, because we're on the sea, close to the sea. And everything was just amazingly fresh. It was just lovely presentation, fabulous service, good eats all the way around. What else can I say? It's a six out of six ranking. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. And the value in Japan for these type of places is lunchtime. Lunchtime and you want to get out of the city a little bit. You can, you can find good deals. So because it's a perfect six, I'm giving away three. I'm gonna get some snack packs. If you're not familiar, there'll be a link on the screen somewhere, but all you have to do to enter for your chance to win is put a comment down below on this video and you'll be entered for your chance to win. I'll announce three winners in the video description of the next Eric Mealtime. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.